Hey, 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 what's going on guys and gals? It is your boy Troy back with another video and in today's video Let's see what we're gonna make with Uber Eats today. All right, let's go Right now it's about 12.06 p.m. Out here in Brooklyn, New York I'm gonna start getting an earlier start today because I just uh, found out that they're starting to close reclose all the restaurants and gyms at 10 p.m. the latest so I don't know if that's gonna affect the Uber Eats app or not. I doubt it, cause I'm sure you know a lot of restaurants will still be, you know, you you'll be able to pick up food from them. But there's gonna be closings all over the place. So because you know the rise of the pandemic is happening all over again, as a lot of people have anticipated. But still, it's unfortunately. But this is what it is. It's, it's happening, you know. So because of what's going on, you know, I figured I'd get it started getting a little earlier start and see how much I can make during the day. So once it gets, you know, real late at night, doesn't really matter because I already started early and that early bird gets the worm, right? That's the that's the cliche, but everybody knows if you do things early, you get done early so you can do and have the rest of your night at night. So that's what I intend on doing. And plus, you know, I'm part-time. So because I'm part-time, you know what I mean? I, I, you know, I still have my full-time job and I only really need to make a certain amount. And I don't necessarily want to kill myself doing this, but I do want to bring some extra income into the house. So without further ado, it's time to get started. I'm gonna go live on this Uber app right now. Now, now see that, that's sexy right there. That's what I like to see. All that red. I guess that's where I'm headed. <laughs> so due to the pandemic, everyone who's doing Uber Eats, you gotta first take a, you know, a profile picture of yourself wearing the mask. They wanna make sure everybody's, you know, keeping that social distance thing going on and show everybody's protected and wearing the mask so there's, there's less of a spread. Let me just put it that way. So let me take my picture. Just me, uh, who walk? If you if you if you drive for Uber, or Uber Eats, or just any other uh, food driving app, if you work for any of those, do you find it easy to just leave the mask on your ears? That's what I do, man. I I just find it easy to do that because you're in and out, in and out. I don't want to forget it in the car and have to go back, so I just leave it on my ears, but underneath my chin while I'm driving, and then when I run out, I just throw the mask back on keeps it nice and easy it's also good to drive during the early times and the night times in new york city because let me tell you something when it hits i want to say 3 3 30 you might as well just park the car and go eat somewhere because you are not going to be moving in this crazy thick brooklyn traffic right around right around i'll say 3 3 30 is ridiculous so for those of us who are doing uber eats out of our cars it is definitely not the move <laughs> to be working around a certain time. When that traffic hits, forget it. That's where the uh, the bikes have the, the the leverage, and the uh, you know the, the blessings go to them during that time because they're able to maneuver through the traffic better than obviously you know someone with a car. Most of the time, I see guys on bikes not even following the rules of the road. They just blowing right past the, the um, lights just as long as it's not a another car coming from the intersection or whatever they just go right through and that saves on a lot of time you should see them out there hustling so I'm almost at my first stop and my first stop is at chipotle i like to go to chipotle for my lunches sometimes i think for what the price you pay for new york at least you'll you you'll be full at the end of the day you can spend the same amount of money going to Chipotle somewhere else and not be full. Now I got my two deliveries. It's gonna take me eight minutes to get the first one off. And let's see. The next one is not far behind. So two orders from one location, baby. I like it when it's bunched up like that make money a little bit faster and also i like to put the bags and stuff in within another bag and sit it on the chair keeps it nice and sturdy balanced and all of that what 
lunchtime is definitely the time to work. Right out the gate, two waters. It's getting a little hot in here. Right now it's about 50 degrees outside. This is that get sick weather, man. You don't know what to wear. Right now I'm layered up. Just got layers on top of layers, right? But uh, when I get outside, you know, when I'm in, no, when I'm in the car is hot. You know what I mean? I don't even have the heat on. I'm about to crack a window, but I kind of don't want to leave my windows cracked going in and out of that um, car. But uh, hey, it is what it is, right? Speed bumps on this block is no joke. <laughs> That's a different kind of speed bump, sheesh. To start out with, this might be the shortest distance ride I've ever had when I first, first turned the app on. I haven't been doing Uber Eats that long. I first started in um, August, just testing it out, see how it was. It was uh, interesting when I first started. My first pickup was at KFC, uh, about a mile or two away from where I live. Wasn't too bad at all. It felt real good to make money without clocking someone's clock. And this, in a, in a way, you just clock your own clock. You start when you feel like it, you know? Just don't forget to take that 30% out. The IRS will come for you. <laughs> Yeah, this is definitely a 1099 income. I love the sound of that. 1099, not just a W-2. For me, personally, I'm just gonna be doing this part-time, you know, bringing in some side money, side income. Uh, you know, for me, if I brought in just an extra, let's say $250 a week, I'm perfectly fine with that. You know, cause I don't, cause I, you know, like I said, I still have to go into my, uh, my regular job and you know get things done there in between going to my regular schedule job I have to I mean I can uh, just do uber in between and make it probably you know a little bit more money than what than I would have you know just having the one income so if let's see if you know if I grind this out I could bring in a decent amount of money every week because I'll get paid weekly in my regular job as well. Uber so Eats, I noticed that they pay you uh, every Monday. They pay you every Monday, and it's a beautiful feeling. Like, I drove yesterday. I drove rest yesterday for Uber Eats. I made $76 yesterday. In one day, drove for four hours. It was like three hours and 57 minutes, and um, made $76. That includes the tips and everything that I made. And it feels good because the very next day because it's monday i got paid so if you want a real a, a quick money <laughs> you, you work uber eats on a sunday and get paid on a monday and you're good to go two minutes left to get to this drop off location i make my first change for the day got my old first order for brendan he's waiting outside <laughs> That was quick. You see, that's what I like about Uber Eats. Um, a lot of the customers pretty much help you with your speed a lot of times too because they're hungry. <laughs> and because they're hungry, they want their food and they want their food now. So when they see you approaching, they're outside ready a lot of times. So that's what I like because sometimes you barely have to get out of your car. Just depends on who it is, who the customer is and things like that. Well, that's always a plus when it happens fast because now you can keep making your money fast or hit your goal for the day and basically stop <laughs> and do whatever else you gotta do. Right now I'm driving through Bed-Stuy, Brooklyn. I went to high school in Bed-Stuy. Special shout out for all my boys and girls alumni. I love you all. <laughs> Crystal got a lot of Chipotle, you see all that? She got food for the family in here. I'll be right back. I'm back, people. I'm back. Had to go up to the sixth floor for that one. Now, so far, with that two delivery in one, I made six dollars and fifty-four cents. I just got wanted to show you guys what the money starts looking like. Already putting some money on the board right here. It's only two trips, and as you can see, so far there's no tips put in. So 
654 may not be the final balance or final total for that for those two trips in one okay so that's my first trip so let's get it going for the next ones so you know thank you for checking in in this video so far guys thanks for watching and if you like to see more content like this you know hit the link at the bottom you know hit that subscribe button hit that bell for notifications you know follow along with me it helps with the channel and everything it's a good thing to be fast going in and out for these deliveries because you know i'm always thinking about the the lurkers the the, the ticket <laughs> the ticket people right the, the uh the nypd is real good at giving tickets so i gotta be real good at avoiding them and um i think this double parking one time i double parked they give me a ticket for 119 dollars and i was double parked for about 10 minutes outside of my house so you know it's just it's just crazy how fast they'll do it so being fast is definitely something you want to do when it comes to driving, at least in New York City. I don't know where about anywhere else, but they'll get you out here if you if you let them. Guys, it is 126. I'm still working on my third order. And when I say the traffic picked up out of nowhere, it is crazy. I didn't even know that it was this much construction for this like street construction going on. It's crazy around me right now. So, <laughs> I'm not gonna have an income goal today. I'm gonna have a go a delivery goal. Let me see where that gets me. Finally, did the third delivery. Sheesh, that took probably about a half an hour just to do that one. I'm going right back to the uh, Chipotle I just delivered, uh, picked up from on my first delivery. So, I know a spot to go to now during the, um, this time during lunchtime. Seems like Chipotle is the spot to be at, to hang out at. But other than the traffic, getting thick and crazy on that side of town. It's been so far so good, y'all. So let's keep this money train going. What I'm starting to notice a lot is a lot of restaurants are starting to just have a location where you just do the pickup. The, the, the workers are, aren't even interacting with the Uber drivers. The Uber drivers are walking in and just... Uh, picking up whatever package belongs to them and walking right out it almost feels weird to do that <laughs> because when i used you know growing up you know all your life you don't you only walk out with something until when, when you spend that money you know now i'm just grabbing and going it feels a little weird <laughs> that's one thing about new york double pop for two seconds is a line of cars behind you so this is so you can see it for yourself. Four deliveries done so far. And only one tipped me so far. And it's not looking so good. That's basically $10.50 an hour right now. That's not good. Let's see if I could turn it up. I might have to just stop for a little while. Maybe eat. Maybe, maybe even take a nap. And just get back online around like 5 o'clock. But we'll see. I'm going to see if I can do at least one more. Get five done at least well, guys this looks like i'm gonna call it quiz until about 5 5 30 tonight because uh right now it's 2 42 the traffic is just hit harder than ever and it's not looking good i it, i don't it, it is my fault i should have got out of here earlier but i was in the house working out stretching and i actually watched a couple youtube videos of my you know myself and then washed and then came out here to um, create this video with you guys to ride along with me but um I'm gonna get me something to eat I might even take a nap and then come back out here and, and uh, see what's going on for 530 when everything starts calming down a little bit because it is crazy right now but yeah I'll be right back in the evening Let me tell you one thing. I finally feel like I can move around. Barely any cars on the road now, so I'll see what I can do to make up for the lost time from this morning. Somebody got good taste. Somebody has good taste. I'm going to Juniors. I'm going to Juniors to make this pickup. I know y'all, you know, a lot of people know what Juniors is, even if you're not from the city. But my Brooklyn Knights, y'all know what that is.
so far so dead i think i've done yeah i've done seven deliveries now let me show you and i'm only at 39 bucks and 79 cents oh that's horrible what's going on today brooklyn what's going on that's basically ten dollars an hour because i've been online for four hours and nine minutes but the night is still kind of young it's 8 13 but i might have to call it quits at 10 o'clock so i can get parking around my area so we're gonna keep going until 10 to see what we can do with seven deliveries not too bad but i definitely definitely gotta hit 10 like come on at least 10. Yes. Right now, I am at six trips done in four hours and 48 minutes. And uh, I got eight points. And I only got two tips. I only got two tips. Check it out for yourself. See that? So, this, this is a, a Monday night for you. So you let me know if it's worth it or not. <laughs> but we got, actually, actually I did eight trips, not six, eight trips. And I got eight points. It's all catching up now. As you can see these trips right there. Okay. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking to do at least two more trips to make it 10 trips for the day. But it's real scarce. Like I've been driving around and there hasn't been really much going on. Like I literally drove from one from point A to point B. Like point B was my house after I did one of my deliveries. And I was able to go in the house, grab some water. <laughs> on a way once I got in front of my house, that's what I got uh, um a ping for another uh, delivery. But it's been it's been really scarce tonight. But it'd be nice to break $50. Like, whew. Well, we gonna see, we gonna find out right now. Let's keep going. Now look at this comparison between Sunday and Monday. It's like day and night. This was yesterday. I hope you can see that. Right, $76.08. And this is today. $47.08. Same amount of trips, but today I'm online almost for five hours now. And on Sunday, I just missed hitting four hours online. So Thursday through Sunday is definitely the better days to do this. I've been sitting around for about 10 minutes now and I'm gonna drive home. And if while, while I'm driving home, if I don't get pinged, I'm gonna park and call it at night. The struggle is real tonight. So it's funny, I got really close to my house and I got pinged for another delivery. <laughs> so I guess I'm staying out tonight. It's time to make that money. <laughs> we all need multiple streams of income. You know what I mean? We, we have multiple bills, right? If we have multiple bills, why don't we have multiple ways to pay those bills? That's what we all need. You know, so that's why part of the reason why I started a YouTube channel. That's part of the reason why I have myself in other businesses and things of that nature. Because I have multiple bills and they all gotta get paid. And a lot of times it's not enough time in the day. And sometimes you're tired. Maybe you'll end up getting sick. You want a way so you can make extra income without you having to go out and do anything. You need residual income. So guys, I'm done for the night and let me just show you the results. That's sixty dollars and nine cents. <laughs> and I got ten points. It says seven trips, but like about three of the trips that I had, trips where I was able to do two deliveries off of um like one pickup. Five hours and forty seven minutes. Not too long or anything like that. You know, part time type hours. And like I said, $60.09 is the total. I got $52.19 from the actual uh, Uber pay, but the tip was $7.90. As for the tips, a lot of times you can wake up to more tips. It's um, definitely common because, you know, people, once they get their food, they close their app. You know, next time they turn their app on, they might go ahead and pay you. 
or it is still be on in the background and they forgot oh i didn't tip it's an l tip you know tips come in late a lot of times so i might wake up to more money but right now it's looking like sixty dollars and nine cents is the total for the day so but um guys i thank you for coming along this ride with me um if you're interested and I'm um, driving for Uber Eats. I'm gonna put that link below as well. You can use my um, referral code if you choose to, it's up to you. Um, I also have some more information down there for other ways to make money, okay? I believe in multiple streams of income. I believe that everyone should have some form of, uh, some form of residual income coming in for themselves and their household, okay? That's, I believe that's a great thing to do for yourself and for your family so um if that's something you're you're into and you'd like to take a look at definitely want to take a look at the links below otherwise if you just enjoyed the video and just want to come along the ride with me you are much appreciated this i wouldn't be doing this without you watching it so i appreciate you giving me the energy to keep going so hit that subscribe button if you haven't already or like the video maybe throw a comment down there let's interact let's talk let's enjoy this all right together um so this is troy and i'm gonna see you in the next one guys peace